I'm at the Silva Fair here at VCU at the Siegel Center, spreading anarchy. So I have to get a lot of questions, of course, what can I do? How can I promote advanced freedom in my community? And going to your local colleges and campuses is actually the best, one of the best ways to do it. That's the center of socialist uh, intelligence spreading that kind of nonsense around, right? Economic literacy. So here's our table here at our club that we also promote here at VCU. And we'll find um, Stefan Kinsellas against uh, intellectual property, one of my top favorites. And we have Human Action here, which finally came through from the uh, Mises Institute. We're going to be starting a reading club here very soon in the next two weeks. We have now Bob Murphy's study guide to go along with that. And so yeah, this is, this is pretty much it. You get yourself a table. We have uh, pamphlets. We got our flyers. We have our newsletter, mailing list, right? These are things, very simple things that you can do to spread uh, anarchy, to spread the message of freedom. And it's my buddy Galen here talking to someone about anarchy right now. So yeah, very easy stuff. And of course, if you're ever in Richmond, more than welcome to join me. If you still have more questions in terms of like how to set up, send me an email at operations at liberaterva.com. And I'm going to get back to what I love doing best, spreading anarchy. And there you have it. And that's how you spread anarchy at outdoor and indoor events. Pretty much the same setup. You get yourself a banner, your flyers, your pamphlets, uh, books. I'm going to be, you know, eventually having my book out, and that'll be the one I'll be promoting there as well as a catch-all, good understanding of how to fight against the state, and muscles, of course, understanding the uh, intricacies of how the whole entire machinery of evil works. And from that, a lot of good responses, a lot of great people, a lot of good uh, questions were asked. And great help by my buddy Galen, who's also done some work on the street uh, videos and counters of capitalism versus socialism. And I'll link that in the description below. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I've even met someone who actually recognized the name Ludwig von Mises and says she's a big fan of Austrian economics. So yeah, it's, it's very beneficial. There are anarchists out there in your community. You just got to go out there and reach out to them. And this is a great way to do that. I would say also I sent out an invitation to the local political groups for a debate. There is a young democratic club as well, and but they said they're not interested until after the elections, right? You know, I can see that a lot of people don't want to be put on the spot right now or um, need to be humiliated right before their big main event comes out. There used to be, of course, a young Bernie, ba Bernie Sanders group, but <laughs> that says it out. Um, and actually, I think the most interesting group I saw was outside and they were championing for capitalism. Can you believe that? First time I've ever seen that here in Richmond. Another group out there championing for capitalism against socialism. And they're called Turning Point USA. I haven't really had a moment to uh, go through their website and everything, but they were telling me that they're non-political. But of course, you know, there's always uh, their advocation for free markets uh, was a uh, great thing to hear, finally, outside of Liberty RVA, Richmond's uh, uh, organization that does champion free markets with no exceptions, right? Uh, it's it was refreshing, relieving, finally, to see another group that does also champion capitalism and free markets here in, in my city. So that was uh, exciting. That was refreshing. That was amazing to see as well. And so hopefully a lot more of that stuff starts to make their way through. A lot of the socialist and communist groups have started to move out. Many of those uh, people have moved out of the city and closed down their stores uh, and closed down their, their clubs. And, and that's it. <laughs> so uh, let's make way for more of these organizations for real freedom, for real capitalism and, and for the good of humanity to come in through to our city and start championing for the good and for liberty and, of course, uh, property rights for all. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys at the victory party and stay liberated. Left behind. The dollar signs rule. But what about the fool who falls victim to the material world?